is Coach Basit, and today I am with my student. Hello, I'm Arjun. Hi, Hello, I'm Sophia, seven years old. Hello, I'm AJ, I'm twelve years old. And today I am going to show you how to teach kids learn how to swim the easy way. Watch the whole video. Right now, I am going to tell you the most important stuff that you have to prepare when doing a swimming lesson. Number one is you must have a goggles, swimming cap for the girls, and most especially the kickboard. This equipment or toys will teach you or help you learn how to swim easily. Factors that you have to consider when choosing a swimming group or swimming school is that they must be a very good condu or conducive venue for swimming class. One of the criteria is the pool must be very clean and the student must be able to step on the bottom of the pool. In this way, it could build their confidence and learn. They will be able to learn swimming easily. One of the things that you need to consider, as I said, in choosing a swimming pool for a swimming class is the student must be able to step on the floor. In this way, they can build their confidence easily in the water and eventually they would learn how to swim quickly. Now the first lesson that I will teach you is the bubbles. At this point, you will have to teach your students how to submerge their face in the water and make bubbles from their mouth. They will have to breathe through their mouth and then exhale through their nose underwater. Watch how they do this. Ready? Go. Then up, that's one, and last one. So Alva and Sophia at this time is doing their bubbles. Now there are so many ways, there are also students that they're afraid to submerge their face in the water. As a swimming coach, you can have a lot of strategies on how to do it. So as long as they will be able to submerge their, their face in the water. Now the next thing is breathe holding. Now at this time, you can, you can tell your students to stay longer underwater. But the very important thing is that you should always tell them to be very relaxed, breathe properly, and try to be calm underwater. In this way, they can stay longer underwater and build their confidence. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, breathe holding. You have to stay underwater for five seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five. When doing this, you have to make sure that they are submersing their head, their full, full head underwater. Now the next thing that we will do is the floating. At this point, you will have to teach your students two things. Number one, they have to breathe properly. They should not be in a hurry when breathing. Number two is they should be very relaxed because their body should be in a state of relax so they can float. Watch how they do it. At this point, my students will show you how to do front float. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, go. Keep your arms straight. At this point, you have to make sure that they're very relaxed. You can also check their body. In five, four, three, two, one. Up. Very good. So that's front load. The next thing is the front gliding. In front gliding, you will teach your students on how to be relaxed while there is already a movement. So there's two things. You have to stretch your arms like this. You have to make sure that your ears are clipped and your chin is down. But while doing it, you just have to keep looking at the floor. Are you ready? Okay. Well, yeah, you go ahead. Ready? Go. along the way because there are some points that they will wobble their body on through all, all the way so the only thing that you have to do or to teach them is to be very relaxed and make sure they're having fun all throughout now we will teach our students the very important parts of swimming which are the three number one is kicking number two is pulling and number three is breathing now upon doing this you can also apply some land drills for them to be able to do it properly one of the things that you need to do or you need to use when you're doing the land drills and kicking is the yoga mat this will help your students to learn how to kick properly so i will show you now how to do or to use it these are also the things that you can teach your students 
when they are not in the swimming pool. You can always tell them to do this workout while they are at home, at school, or any, in any place where they can perform this, which is very helpful when they are already in the water. Okay, at this point, AJ is showing us how to do the flutter kicking in the dry land. This is very important, especially in the basic lesson, because you will have to make sure that they're using this part of their feet. They're using this part of their feet when they're kicking because normally the kids are using their knees and that'll be a big problem when they're in the water. So if we AJ show them how to do it. So what I normally do is I'm incorporating these land drills after the swim, uh, before the swim, during the swim, and after their kicking drills. So in that way, I can teach them easily how to kick properly in the water. Are you okay, Kuya? important thing when teaching kids is that you should always make sure that they are having fun in the process because burnout is the number one enemy of every coach to their athletes so when having a swimming lesson with the kids you should always incorporate the play time so in our lessons they, I always gave them the play time session is that they, they tend to move their knees and in that case you have to make sure that you're holding their toes and then guide them when kicking your kids or your students to do it small but fast kicking. Come on kids, move it. And you also need to teach your kids to listen to their kick when they are doing this. If there is no sound from their feet, then they are probably doing it wrong. Can already 
already do it the, the right way or improving while doing the front glide with kicking, then you can start using the kickboard for a longer distance. And you can also teach them how to breathe properly while they are already doing it. So, watch them how as they perform it right now. the kids and how to move their arms in the water so we call this the arm pulling so when doing the arm pulling you have to tell your students to move their hands or creating a big circle like this one big circle alba follow two big circle you have to keep your head steady while you're moving your hands and move only your shoulder very good move move very good so that's what we call arm pulling a good muscle memory now for them to be able to establish a good muscle memory you just have yeah. to keep them doing it doing it again and again this is the crucial part of the swim lesson the breathing part so when teaching the kids on how to breathe properly first is that you have to teach them the right timing of breathing so from the, from inhaling through their mouth they would have to exhale with the right timing so you just have to teach or tell your students to hold there the wall and then put their head down and then you have to guide them first move their hands and then breathe at the side always teach your kids to breathe at the side and then head down remember to teach them how to exhale or when to exhale the right time okay move your arms exhale make bubbles before you breathe bubbles correct down bubbles correct bubbles to breathe we will now integrate kicking pulling and breathing so they would now start swimming freestyle let's go kids now at this point kickboard is very important when doing kicking pulling and breathing in this way they can be guided through all throughout the stroke
survival stroke and one of the techniques that I will be teaching my students this time is the back floating. Back floating is when the students lie down in the water and just start flipping their hands so that they can be able to propel or to cast, uh, move from one place to another and be safe in the deep part of the water. Are you ready Alba and Sophia? Yes. Are you ready to do the back float with KK? Ready? Set. Thank you for watching our video. We hope to see you in the next videos for more ideas about swimming, free diving, spear fishing, and open water swimming. Learn how to swim, enjoy the water. Thank you for watching our video.